What's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing good. Whenever you're watching this in the morning, afternoon, nighttime. Good morning! Morning! Good morning! Oh, and in case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> um, we're gonna do a video. Uh, today's gonna be about my chameleons. Check out the chameleons. Uh, also, we're gonna do a chameleon egg update. So stick around and uh, let's get into it, shall we? So first off, we have my male. Uh, he's the father of the clutch. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and look at and check him out. He was a rescue from a friend. Uh, he bought him and didn't realize what all, you know, taking care of a comedian entitled. Uh, so we'll check him out. I'll show you up close. Uh, and then we'll go up to my girl, Mary Jane. Uh, we'll check her out. She's a mom. She's the future mom. So, all right, let's get into it. He's my male. Like I said, he's three years old. He has, if you see, he was burned by his light when he was younger. So it never really grew in, you know, correctly. Um, but he does fine. He does, you know, perfect. He's a big eater. He's a big guy. And he's got some beautiful colors. So that's him, that's Champ. pretty used to me so once I start grabbing them they'll, they'll release and grab onto my hands um, but you never really want to yank them off the vine uh, it's very bad for them you cause them a lot of stress um, anyway that's Mary Jane you know they the females have less colors than the males uh, she just laid for me uh, May 2nd is when she had her eggs uh, so, you know, she, she's done good. What, right after her laying her eggs, you know, I doubled up on the calcium, on the food. She's lovely. I've had her. She's two years old. So, and soon to be mama. Let's go ahead and put her back so she don't give me crying. on their cage now. So this is cage. They are held outside. I do live in Miami. Uh, so temperatures are just right, you know, in the mid 80s to low 90s always, most of the time. You know, we always have summer or almost summer, like I say. Uh, those are the only two seasons we have, so 
Uh, but yeah, they're, they're, oh, there he goes showing off for you guys. Um, so they get everything from all sides. They get the water, they get the rain. Uh, you know, when it, at nighttime, when it cools down a little bit, they will, you know, get in a little corner and get ready to go to sleep. They'll hide under the bushes that we have here. Um, so I have Champ, uh, my male, he's in the extra large rep debris screen mesh. I have no lights, UVBs, nothing, because he is outside, house outside. Uh, same as her, as my female. Uh, they are both housed outside. And this is her cage. So with her cage, what I did was I had bought that beginner medium, uh, you know, that beginner medium Reptibreeze set that comes with everything when I was at a different location. I had them housed inside. Uh, and then what I finally ended up doing was I bought another medium Reptibreeze and I kind of integrated them together into one big cage. So if you'll see here, she can just scroll through here and go on to this way and she's good in her little cage. And it's that's all for them. Um, so I would, will say it is pretty darn hot out here today. Uh, so let me show you uh, days that it doesn't rain. Uh, I'll show. I'll go ahead and show you what I do for them, and then we'll get into the uh, egg update. So you want to water your male chameleons about three times a day. Uh, so that's what I try to do. I just get the regular holes. I got the regular yard holes and wet them for about 10, 15, 20 seconds. I'll make sure they're nice and any of those supply places and they're pretty cheap I bought uh, it was about six feet of pants for about ten dollars I want to say and I just give them a good soak and make sure they're nice and moist for the day we're gonna go ahead and get some feeders later on today so they'll eat then Let's go to the other step of the video and go check out them eggs. Back in two seconds. All right, so we're back. Let's see, I'm a little old fashioned. So I'm using my GoPro. And if any of my videos you see me looking, you know, somewhere that I keep continuously looking at, it's my phone. So I'm not being rude to the viewers, I'm just making sure I'm in the shop alright so we're in my spare room I went ahead and when I had these guys I went ahead and I bought the uh, Zoomed Revibator 
I'll, uh, but these are my guys. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, you want to have them between incubation between 78 to 81 degrees. Um, 45 to 60 humidity, I would say. I could be wrong. Uh, let me know down in the comments. I'm sure there's more experienced uh, breeders. This is my first time breeding chameleons. Um, Alright, let's get down to it. I'm going to open her up. Open her up. Let's check this out. Pull the temperature out. I have them in the actual caves themselves. And then if you see, I have them dated when they were hatched, how many eggs are in each uh, bin. And then I have the update, which I'm going to update them today as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and check. First one. Let's open him up. So, we're going to bring out the handy dandy food scale. So, I've been wearing them out every month. Um, well, I skipped a month apparently. Uh, so, Last time I weighed them, it was July 3rd. Not sure what today's date is. Today's the 5th. Alright. So, two months down. So, let's go ahead and see where they're at. I'm going to zero this out. Alright. So, now they're reading. September 5th. Let me make the notes. What are you doing? They're at 168. I can't get a stupid pen that works. They're 168. 52 grams. I want to get them back up to where they were at. At 180 grams. So let me go ahead and get some water. This is Chico Black, by the way. Don't know if you can see him in the video. Hey, so what's the place that you told me to take the car to? I'll take that one. Let me finish the video. It might be better than just to get that little problem fixed and swap in the one. You know, the swap, I mean, you know, it's nicer. Yeah, the swap only works if you're going to do it like within the month. Hmm? Within the month? Yeah. Yeah. Because if you got to ride that shitty car like that. Alright, so we're at 168.54. We want to get it back to 180 grams. You don't want to get the eggs wet. But you do want to have, you know, some humidity in there. 
All right, so we're at 180.71. That's right where we want to be. Let me write that down. Plump. All right, so this is the first one. Let's go into the second bin. Second one had 15 eggs for 157 grams. And right now we're at 137. Get her up to back up to 157 is when we where I started weighing her when in May. So let's get her up 20 grams. And then the last box. Let's weigh her out now. Uh, weighed out to 213.50 with 15 eggs. Let's give them a weigh. They're at 239.94, so they're the only ones that gained. Alright, so let's put that September 5th, 19, 239.40. Alright. Answer cage? Yeah, it's dope. Very good. Alright, so let's see if I can get some lights off here. Yeah, if I can get it dark in here, we're going to do some lighting. See how they look, see how they look inside. Are they looking at the embryos? Yeah. yeah. By this time, you should see a lot of. Uh, reds and veins might be a little hard for the viewers to see but <laughs> probably not the best camera to go with with a GoPro yeah you won't be able to see it on camera but there it's veiny so they're doing good I don't have any mold None of them have molded away, so uh, we have a total of 44. So hopefully we have 44 chameleons uh, come January. Let's go ahead and put everything back. You want to put everything in the same location you had them? We're going to put the humidifier reader here.
filter back up. Make sure it's sealed. <coughs> Let there be light. Alright guys, uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, uh, write any comments if I'm doing anything wrong, if you have any ideas, if you have any questions. Uh, and that's it. Thanks for watching.